All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about seeding trays, which is the best one for you. As a beginner, guys, you really have to be careful which seeding tray you buy because there's a lot. And some of them are pricey, some of them are cheap, some of them, like this, you use them one time and it literally, look, it's like literally broken and it's like cheap plastic, comes with a nice bottom base, but it's cheap. You only could use them literally one time. So in this video, I'm going to help you guys save money, save time, and picking out the right seed and trace for you because... You don't want to keep wasting money every single season on your garden. Nope. So I'm not going to recommend those guys to you because I learned from experience. These one right here are really good for if you're going to use it in springtime. You see all the holes in the bottom? The holes, if you're ever wondering why they have holes in the bottom, it's for extra water to run out. If you overwater, the wa instead of the water to settle there, the holes, all the water will come right out and it's good for air, which will really help your plant in the future. And the good thing about these guys, they come with a lid, which I don't have it right now. You literally could cover your plant and you could put it outside and say, let's say it outside where there's like 65 degrees. With the lid closed in here, it will probably be in the 70s inside here. It'll keep it warmer. It trapped the heat inside basically. And your seed link is going to grow a couple inches off. And then, you know, you get a chance to transplant and grow even longer and faster. And no bugs or anything could come in basically with the lid on this. These guys are really cheap. All these good ones. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You go ahead and check that out. But my favorite one for beginners who are now starting off in the garden and you want to seed indoor. So you have to remember when you seed indoor, you have to transplant later on outside into bigger pots or maybe in ground. Now, most people... You don't want to seed in this because if you put four or five plants in here, you have to separate all those uh, plants later on to transplant as they're growing. And if you're not careful or you're not experienced, you could de you could destroy the plant root, which will affect your plant. So the best thing for beginners who are now starting up is these clear ones. These clear ones, I've been using this for three years now, and literally it's six holes inside so you can plant six plants in here i will do i will recommend you guys to plant one plant for each one do not plant two because it's not a lot of room for two just plant one and that's how it's going to grow so and the good thing about this when you're ready to take this out you literally could hold it you put your finger in the top like this guys and you squeeze the bottom a little bit gently if you squeeze the bottom a little bit it's flexible and it comes right out easily. And another thing, if you need a lot of this, it comes in a lot of pack. And you could just literally just line them up together. So they could stack like that and you could keep going on and make a longer tray. So these guys, I will recommend for beginners who are now starting off and you don't want to deal with going through breaking up all the roots and going through all that problem. These are individually, just squeeze it out a little bit, pull out your plant one by one. And when you pull out your plant, you just put it wherever you want a little hole and that's it this this I recommend is highly when you're gonna see uh, for beginners if you want to plant two plants that's when you go with the bigger containers these guys right here as you can see the hole is wider you could plant up to four plants in this but as they reach certain height and the root the good thing about these they're longer so the root could grow all the way down but uh, but if you see the roots start coming out of here you have to transplant because you don't want your roots to come out of here, then your plant is not going to fully grow and it's going to take a longer time and you might even lose your plant. So make sure transplant your plant before roots start coming out of here. So recommend you could do two to four plants in this container. Do another video to show you guys what I'm going to plant for springtime coming up right now, guys. All right. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better home garden together, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell icon. It's 100% free. And uh, if anybody need help, guys, with gardening stuff, check out my playlist, share my video. I really do appreciate it, guys. I'll see you next time.